We are all exposed to stress, regardless of age, gender, or, or occupation. The response to stress is positive, it's good for you. You need to respond to different challenges in your environment. The point is controlling this response, to switch off this response. It's all about balance. When the response to stress is not properly regulated, it's strongly linked to a variety of psychiatric disorders, such as an anxiety, and depression, eating disorders. The metabolic syndrome, such as the type 2 diabetes, and heart-related diseases, and immune-related and reproductive-related diseases. All these diseases are strongly linked to stress. The World Health Organization estimates that approximately 10% of the world population suffers from anxiety, depression and related disorders. Nevertheless, the efficiency of the currently available treatment is extremely poor and there is a clear and robust medical need to develop new therapeutic tools. We can find a lot of epidemiological studies which support the link between stress or the inability to properly regulate our stress response to a variety of diseases. However, the mechanistic understanding of this link is, uh, is poorly understood. And this is what we are trying to do in our research, is really understand the mechanism, what are the genes, what are the protein, what are the brain circuits, which regulate our response to stress. Therefore, we strongly believe that when we can identify specific genes and protein in the brain, we can use them in order to eventually develop a better way to, to treat this patient. Many genes are involved, there's a lot of interaction between these genes, and even more importantly is the interaction between the environment and the gene of the genetic makeup of the individual. So we use mouse as the animal model. The reason we use mouse is probably the most developed organism we can play with the genetics. We can generate a mouse which is a lacking a specific gene or change the level of this specific gene and see how this is affecting eventually the behavior, the cognition, the emotion of these mice and even trying to fix it uh, using different environmental stimuli. We generated a mouse which is lacking three genes, which uh, we knew are somehow linked to our response to stress. And then when we compare these mice to uh, their brothers, literally, we found out while normal mice, when you stress them, they recover very quickly. It's taken two to three hours and their cortisol level and the anxiety level uh, levels go back to, to normal. These knockout mice, these mice which are lacking these genes, are remain very, very anxious even for one or two weeks following a single stressor. Now we know that this system is linked or associated with switching off the response because when we remove it, the mice is not recovering. So now we have a target. We can use this system and activate this system in order to switch off the stress response. Psychopathologies or brain science in general, this is the last frontier. This is probably the organ we know the least about. Mental illness with all the complexity and the involvement of both the environment and the gene and the genetic makeup of the individual make it probably the most complex type of challenges we currently have in biomedical research in general. So I think this is, this is the future, this is where we need to go.